Online Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Mary J! be another episode of BET's Being Mary Jane. We're here for the recap right here on After Buzz TV. I'm one of your hosts, Megan Thomas, at Meg Scoop on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Periscope. And I got these lovely ladies with me. <gasps> Who are you? I'm Finia Thomas. My cousin from a different yes. auntie. Yes! <laughs> you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and Snapchat now at Finia Thomas. Hello, everyone. I'm Tiana Hobson, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Tiana Hobson. And I'm Char Jocelle of Char Says So, and you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Instagram, all that fun stuff, at Char Says So, and that's Char with an S, not a C. Ooh, Ooh, tell it, flows, it flows. And you know, we always have amazing guests, and so you're not going to believe who we have today. She is the head BIC behind the head BIC <laughs> at SNC. Yes. You've seen her in her steamy scenes last week. Ooh, we love those steamy mm -hmm. scenes. Oh, and, honey. and the breakdown one. And she, yes, she phenomenal. broke it down. She's here, Here's the one and the only Kara Lynch, Miss Lisa Vidal! <laughs> Love to be here with you girls so again. I'm excited to have you. <laughs> We're, I'm so excited to be here. I yes. miss seeing these beautiful faces. Aww, thank, thank you. It's been too long. It has thank been. You. Yep. What is so? This is now. We're in a new season. What has the transition been like from the very beginning until for your character until now? Um, well, I think the transition has been kind of unfolding Kara's life, you know, mm -hmm. like from where we first met her right. and where she was at and what she was about to encounter, you know, facing the divorce and the kids and the, the ex and the, the mm -hmm. what her new living situation was going to be, the pressure, the added on stress that she was going to be taking on. I think it's nice how we got to see that and how... It sort of, uh, I, I also think, made Mary Jane and Kara's friendship much more intimate. Like, right, right. Because, you know, mm -hmm. it's like there's, there's when you going through stuff, you really need your, your girls. Mm -hmm. Right. It's true. Yeah. What is it? Okay, so for this episode especially, I see the interaction that you have with Mary Jane. I don't feel like that could be scripted. You guys are, like, talking and you're dancing around. Like, is that in the script? Or are you guys just like, let's just go with it? You know, there's a lot of let's just go with it. Okay. Gab and I are friends right. in real life. I mean, mm -hmm. you can tell. You yeah. can totally tell. Yeah, we, we we love each other. I kind of love her. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and she loves me, too. And, um, you know, it's just this beautiful thing that, that kind of happened. Mm -hmm. Chemistry. It's called chemistry. Right. And um, when you have that, there's just so much more that happens in the life of the characters right and it's it's uh, stuff that we don't have to work on right you know right, what I'm right. saying mm -hmm. which is really great like you can't pay for that um, so we we have a lot of fun you know we, mm -hmm. we play we want to make it uh, as 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 tight as you know that's believable so that people can really feel the relationship and mm -hmm. I think that um, we're, we're, we're always sort of like really there we have each other's back just as actors right and so if I want to throw something at her she's always willing to catch the ball nice. and and the other way around you know I same love thing that. I yeah. love, and you know what I really love about your character this season is that we get to see your craziness <laughs> and your mom. I mean, we get to see everything. We get to see the love scenes. I was like, get it, Kara. Yeah. <laughs> and let's talk about that. You yes. were in your personable and your unmentionable. Yeah. So yeah. Was like, and you looked amazing, by the way. Yeah. Well, thank you. My husband didn't want to watch, but he was like, I'm not going to watch that. Understandably. But everybody else was like, Oh my God, you look great! And my sister was like, "Girl, I got to get to the gym. Where you? Where are you going?" <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny, but um, it, it's kind of great to explore that side of Kara. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I think as women, we have so many different 
parts of us. Mm-hmm. You know, we're moms. Mm-hmm. We're we're you know bosses. We are workers. We we do so many different things. But at the end of the day, we're women. Right. Yes. And we have that that side to us that we really need fulfilled. And it's just kind of nice to see a little bit of that with Kara. And, you know, Mary Jane can't have all the fun. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> were you, were you a, when you saw that in the script for the first time, were you like, oh, no. Yes, <laughs> I absolutely was. I was like, I, wait, Mara, um, I, I'm not Gabrielle. <laughs> I was like, what is this? And then, of course, I went to Gabrielle. I was like, girl, how, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I look good and not awkward? You what have to tell say? me. What did she say? What did she tell you? She was like, you? just wear really tiny panties. Oh, mm. she was like, you always look good if you wear really small panties. I was like, oh, is that what it's all about? Because it makes, <laughs> it make your like true. booty look bigger. It, does. Does. it just it makes it look more fabulous. Yeah, yes. it looks like your booty is like sucking up the exactly. underwear. Exactly. Yes, that's a tip. Maybe that's a tip we take like in real life. Too. Right, right, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, bloomers <laughs> ain't sex. Oh, now listen, I'm not arguing with that. And you know, of course, my husband can vouch it. The tinier, the better. <laughs> gotta accentuate in the right places. Exactly. What's been the most fun for your character, and what's been the most fun for you playing this season? This season? Yeah. Honestly, the most fun actually for me is I just get excited when when I have juicy stuff to play. Okay. Like mm-hmm. there's you know every actor dreams of that. Right. And so I really had a great time playing all the different layers mm-hmm. of Kara this season. Yeah. You really see her being Kara, and you see her being completely vulnerable, mm-hmm. a mess, you know, the mother, the, 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 the doubtful person, you know, who's not sure about who she is and what she's done with her mm-hmm. life. And then and you get to see the sexual Kara, and mm-hmm. then you get to see the really funny Kara. Right. There's a lot of funny yeah. stuff coming up. So it was so much fun to play all those layers, because I think that's how we all really are. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I got to do that this I will season. say that this, this season, like, it's reality. Right. Your yeah. character mm-hmm. is what's happening in real life, balancing it all, and it's a balancing right. in the juggle struggle. So I love it. I'm like, nobody told me this. Nobody showed me this. Right. Claire Huxtable <laughs> wasn't going through. That's she right. was, you know what? We she didn't see her in her undergrad. <laughs> but just juggling everything. Right, right, right. And yes. like, it's real. Like, it's hard. You're going to yeah. have a breakdown. You're mm-hmm. going to have a moment. Yeah. And, yes. But you can still be a boss and have those moments and a mom. Absolutely. So, it's, loving. It's absolutely. It's yeah. the real thing for all of us who, who know what that's like the juggling. Women juggle more and more yeah, than they uh, ever yeah. have. Right. Yes. So it's, you know, you're bound to like the little screw falls off <laughs> and you're like, uh oh, yes. it's all falling out, you know? <laughs> It's gonna happen. Yeah. How much of this was fr- would you have drawn from your real life? Because I know I, you were busy, like coming here today. You're like, I gotta cook for my kids. And yeah. I gotta, you know, it, you obviously are a mom, and you have to do this. How much of the struggle did you pull from yourself? Um, a lot. A lot because I understand that. Right. There's nobody that understands that more than me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And I have I mean I I, I have a village though that helps me. You know, nice. I have yeah. a very supportive husband, I've got family, I, I I've got help. Yeah. Um and obviously the difference is that I'm you know, I'm not having the personal struggle that, that Kara's having, but in the sense of her marriage and her personal life, but um you know who doesn't understand juggling and feeling like you you have too much on your plate mm-hmm. and you're not exactly doing the best job mm-hmm. or is someone suffering from this yeah. right, have right. i screwed somebody up or mm-hmm. you know or wanting wanting to do your best but you 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 kind of feel like you can't cut it you're not mm-hmm. cutting it you know I understand that. I, I know what that feels like. And sometimes it, it feels so bad that, you know, you just have your moment of feeling crushed. Right, right. So absolutely, I can, I, and I think that's why I can relate so much to, to Kara and play that you know the way I can play it because I understand it right right yeah. well if you guys have any questions or any comments make sure you use the hashtag ABTVBMJ because we want to see what you're saying Shar has anybody said anything to us we need shout out you know there are two people that stood out because you know when I checked the hashtag you know just to you know reiterate what Megan said you guys really need to like participate because when I checked the hashtag all I saw were my tweets so oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> hello Damien aka D Swipe I'm sorry my handwriting's horrible D Swain. <laughs> his his Twitter handle is Trini Boy. You know, like the Caribbean boy, B W O Y. Okay. Oh, hey. yeah. Twenty-seven. I'm guessing Trini is short for like Trinidad. You okay. know. Uh-huh. And then Chess. 
at Chesley. So those hey, are two Chesley. people that Trini boy. You know what's up? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah ABTV yeah. BMJ. Perfect. And we also love your comments on YouTube. So make sure <gasps> yes. you guys. We interact with you guys. We love you so much. Uh, some of the people you want to shout out? I do. I do. So we talked about last week about we need the music and the soundtrack. So uh -huh. Morgan Coltra said, "Ladies, if you download Shazam, the app will display <laughs> Mary Jane and yes. it'll list all the feature songs." So oh, really? It will. Yes. So all of the people know. that ask us. All, every week. What song was this? Use your Shazam app, Use your please. Shazam. Because I was just about I mean, to piggyback and say Roxy told us to do that, but she told us to lift the headphone and put the phone up to it. Bloop. I don't have time for that. No, you don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time Anybody for that. else want to shout out? Um, I do want to shout out Malika Diva. She made a really great comment about Nisi last week, and she said she got the job, yay. But again, I think this episode just showed Nisi making it work with two babies, with a job paying $7 an hour, but she's Ooh. still happy mm. unlike Kara. Ooh, ooh, so, ooh, ooh. Kara who makes all the money. She mm. has an opinion, Miss Malika Diva. Okay. Ooh. And Trini Boy 271 <laughs> said we made his day. So Thank you Aww. for watching yes. and listening. You make our day. Make sure you guys Yay. continue to watch. So let's talk about this episode, episode five, Hot Seats. Starts off with Mary Jane, and she's talking to Greg about how she needs to get back on the air. Did she handle it correctly, ladies? <laughs> you know what? Mary Jane is a hoot and a holler, okay? <laughs> when she initially went in, I was like, okay, the opening scene. But then when she started calling Jesse Jackson and the people <laughs> the and making $5,000. Yes, and started making $5,000 donations and talking to the press, I just was like that damn Mary Jane um, I think that she went about it initially correct because it's like when you want something that bad yeah you're going to do some unconventional things but then after a while I was just like girl you're doing too much you are doing <laughs> Mary Jane you're doing too much so, you know yeah. you crossed the line a little bit <laughs> right. um, I, I didn't think it was necessary to call in the Rainbow Coalition but you know that's just <laughs> my personal um, opinion there but I do think that at first she handled it a lot better than I thought she was going to handle it uh -huh. because I mean I liked how we saw the two um, co-workers making the bet on yes. if she was going to get her way or not. Right, you know, right, so right. it's like I they know how she is too. So I think she could have blown up and made it this even bigger thing. Mm -hmm. And instead she kind of walked out cool and collected like, "All right, right. you're going to have your way. I'm going to have mine." Did not expect her to go the way of calling in Jesse Jesse Jackson for some help. But. What you well, what do you think, Lisa? Was it too much from MJ's character? You know what? I here's what I think. I think that Mary Jane it always goes for the gusto. Right, right. Mm -hmm. She and that's why Kara's always fought, fighting with her. <laughs> yeah. She's like, girl, you got to back it up a little bit. But I will say that she's fearless, mm -hmm. and that's what I like about mm -hmm. Mary Jane is that she's fearless. She kind of she she kind of does what a guy would do. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you gonna oh, you gonna mess with me? I'm gonna bring bring in the big guns. Right, right. Yeah. But sometimes I don't. Mary Jane's thing is that she doesn't think of certain consequences, no or repercussions, she and that's where she falls short. Right, right. And it's and, and that's where I think the Kara relationship, as far as work goes. It, 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 she, Kara's got her on a little boat. Yeah. She's like, "Well, ho, ho, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute," you know, because Kara's thinking about all that mm -hmm, stuff that right. Mary Jane's not thinking about. So I think sometimes, you know, it, it, it's that yin and the yang thing mm -hmm. where you know, yes, you got to be strong. You got, you can't be. You have to be fearless. You can't, but you got to think. Yeah, yeah right, got to right. think things through. Yeah, yes. yeah. You know, Did, was it a risky move for Mary Jane to go? I'll be back on air Monday, guys. Was that risky, Finia? Uh, I was ballsy. Yeah. I'll say that. I mean, and she, I think she again. She was. I agree with everyone. She was being a little impatient. Mm -hmm. Just slow down, pump your brakes. But we've all been in those moments yes. where we want our satisfaction yep. now. Right. We right. don't yes. want to wait. So yes. been there. I get it. But, but you, uh, can we talk about our vanilla pudding though? Yes. Yeah. Vanilla pudding wine. If you guys see, so no good. <laughs> yes. This is uh, for those of you who don't know. This is Gabrielle Union's wine. This vanilla pudding a Chardonnay that was made today. Mm. And I'm drinking it right now. And <laughs> As you can see in our cups, we're turning up. <laughs> no, but, to you. but yeah, let's talk about um, this is what I thought was really funny when she's in, at home and she's talking to Mark and she's taking her donation back. That is so petty. Girl. You don't take donations back, guys. She 
Patty LaBelle that for that trifling. one. So she was very, 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 I need very that petty. reversed. <laughs> but I did think that that was one of the more comical highlights of this episode because she was dead serious. And I thought that she was going to kind of pull back when Mark had put his two cents in. But she was like, like the, the woman on the other end was like, the charges have been, you know, da 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 da. Thank you, click. Do you, do you guys think that Mary Jane is a little, I would say, colder this season? No. No. I, I think, think she's she set, the, still the same self-centered. I was going to comment on last week's episode with uh, when your son was battling dyscalculia and you had to go to parent-teacher conference and she just was kind of like, Kara, where were you for my moment type thing? Mm -hmm. And like how you said, like the yin and the yang, like that's what balances you all out because I don't know if I could have a friend like that. Like if I'm going to be accommodating and understanding to your needs, then I'm going to need the same. You know I got two kids, girl. But she yes. made those brownies for Kara. Yes, she yeah, did. And eventually, I have to say, it Kara, took a breakdown. Yes, but but Kara did not communicate, did she? No, no. she didn't. She didn't right? tell anybody that. That's, that's right. What she's doing. So when Mary Jane says, "What did this and that and the other," she says, "Well, is everything okay?" And Kara says, "I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's right. Yeah. Right. No, it's right. not fine. Right. Mm -hmm. So she, Kara has a problem communicating. Kara mm -hmm. has a problem being so many vulnerable. People do. Right. So many people do. And Mary Jane is like, "Well, then, what's the problem? If everything's fine, you need to be doing what I need you to do. Mm -hmm. Right." right? So that's where there's a little bit of a of a dysfunctional kind of yes. exchange going on between them mm -hmm. because you know Kara just always wants to have everybody thinking she is on it and she's mm -hmm. fine she don't right. need help she's fine but she's not and that's what the beauty of the brownie scene is mm -hmm. that right. exactly. the breakdown yeah. of she's not fine and Mary Jane receiving that mm -hmm. and and taking her in right oh. did you have yeah. to I'm going to ask this question. Did you have to, like, pull from a certain place? Because to me, that was such a riveting scene when you had your breakdown. So did you have to, like, pull from a certain place? Or was it? did it just come easy as an actress? Or did you have to really channel, like, some pain? Because it was yeah. so real to see Kara just yes. break down like yeah. that. Yeah. No, absolutely. I pull from, you know, all my concerns as a mother. Mm -hmm. Feeling like, did I mess up somewhere? Mm -hmm. Have I messed up somewhere? Right. Am I doing a good enough job? That fear that we all have as mothers is very real. We all want our kids to be okay. You know, we all want to feel like we've right. done a good job or we're doing mm -hmm. a good job. So there is a pain there, you know, that you pu you pull from. It's I call it my little library, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> yeah. and and you pull from the little library of of life experiences, right. you know, and um, so I had I had all that to to pull from, mm -hmm. and um, but it's it's not easy. It's definitely yeah. not easy. Yeah. You have to go to places that you don't want to go, right? And then what an if actor. they say cut and you got to redo it or something? Like yeah, you know, like <laughs> stay in that place that you don't want to be in. Place. Right. Like, I'm a bad mother. I don't want to feel like that anymore. <laughs> exactly. I don't think I'm a bad mom. Exactly. As a matter of fact, my kids were on set that day. Oh, like, were they? Yes, they were. <laughs> um, after everything was done, my son came out and he was like. Mom, you don't really feel that way about us, do you? <laughs> That's how good the scene was, though. Yes. I was like, I would have to no, ask them, too. Of course not. <laughs> oh, that, that is was. so funny. All right, mm -hmm. so then, of course, we see Mary Jane. She's mad because she got caught calling Greg some names over the phone. Fat ass. Yes. <laughs> that, that was, was so hilarious. funny. So <laughs> funny. <laughs> And he's mad that he, he that of course MJ has said that she's gonna be back on air on Monday when he never agreed to that. He brings us up a few things. Is he legit when he says that you've been late, you're sassy, you're not prepared? Was, Absolutely. Yes. Were all these things true? Does he really have her back? Like he says. That was going to be my biggest question because mm -hmm. we've seen them butt heads a lot, but we've also seen him fight for Mary Jane a lot. But I always feel that Greg has his own agenda when he's fighting mm -hmm. for her because it's like he says one thing over here to Kara and Kara and MJ, and then when he's with the partners or whoever the exact oh, are, yeah. it's kind of like he's being bulldozered there. So right. it's kind of like you know the hierarchy of his bosses are yelling at him, so he's yelling at her, right. and MJ's arguing back mm -hmm. but I do think that in the long run he does want to see her succeed because that means he's ultimately succeeding right right but where's well, Marisol well Mar what? we don't see her again Marisol Marisol gone. Gone. she's not gone but oh, okay. he used the word ally and I put question mark because at the end of the day he has to make sure his job is secured right, right. so he may play both sides a little bit which mm -hmm. I completely understand as wanting to keep your employment but I feel like he was pushed into a corner. Right. And so he felt like 
Well, I'm sure he was offended by being called a fat ass. <laughs> he, he wanted to pull out the receipts. Like, you're this, he you're He read her that. for points. And what company doesn't keep a log if they're wanting to fire you or wanting to do something? I'm going to need but his log to be better than this piece of paper that he just wrote stuff down. <laughs> type that right. up, Greg. Type it up. No, because the mine. thing is, he was cooking up the read. Right, right. He right, knew she was right. going to come in there. He was cooking it up. Like, I'm really about to sit But here's to what I don't like. I don't like it when African-American women are referred to as sassy. No, me I either. really, yeah. me really either. don't like it. Me it's either. such a what, you don't like trigger it? word. You're, oh no, I'm letting you finish. Okay, it's a trigger and that, word. And this is what I did, and it's been on my phone for months because I've had this conversation. There are way other adjectives to use, and mm -hmm. there are brassy, brazen, bra brazen, brazen, audacious, cheeky, and I'll even take flippant over sassy any day. Is that mm -hmm. the same with Latina Latinas women? Do they too. Do they? Do they? Yeah. Get spicy. With the hot chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. Spicy. <laughs> you get spicy. Oh, she's on fire. It's mm -hmm. like really? Sassy is a really? For, term for toddlers and five-year-old girls, not a grown woman that, that speaks her mind actually, and is smart and educated. Actually, twelve-year-old My daughter's very sassy. <laughs> <laughs> she's preaching. Yeah. That is a yes. stereotype that that follows us, and I always like watching the show. Always makes me question, like from different perspectives. Like, mm -hmm. would this have been different if Mary Jane were a white woman doing, or even a, a male? Man. Yeah, a you male. Know, no one uses sassy for men. No, but they'll call him cheeky or arrogant. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, arrogant yeah. is arrogant. a big one yeah. for men yeah. of color. Yeah. But even as far as with the three to six weeks thing, well, I don't think that the Rainbow Push Coalition would have said that if Mary Jane was was Mark John, so to speak. Mm. You know, when they were right. negotiating mm -hmm. with uh, the boss man what and they said 36 weeks? No, I was agreeing that I, when he said the word sassy, I was like, ooh, that's ooh, not a good like, word ooh, to I use for a black kinda woman. Like, yeah. mm, I kind of cringed a little bit. <laughs> I personally am not offended when people call me sassy, but it's usually just my mama saying it. So, you know, <laughs> when your mom says yeah, it, yeah, like, there's nothing I can do school. about that. You know, it is old school. There's nothing I can do. But I did. Like in his conversation, he did bring up, you know, Mary Jane, you're always pulling the race card, basically, is what he told her. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I'm not saying I agreed with him, but it does seem that a lot of the tension there, it always comes back to like, well, if I was this, you wouldn't do this. And if I, well, I and kind of agree with him. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, was I do. And yeah, actually, Kara, Kara and mm -hmm. and and Mary Jane have fought about that, mm -hmm. right? You know, because she can't she can't say nothing to Kara because Kara's Puerto Rican, right? Mm -hmm. right. Kara's a minority. She's a Latina, and she, so she's, you know, it's like, wait a minute, we're on the same team here. We're fighting for the same goals and mm -hmm. causes. Right. You can't always pull that card yes. and everything. So and and I think I think that because Kara is. Uh, you know, Latina, she can say that to her yeah. right, and, right. And, call and call her, her to the it. carpet. Because yes. yeah. you, know? you guys butt heads uh, last season, I think it was when she wanted to do the ugly black woman yeah, story yes. or something like that. And you guys, yeah, yes. I remember that. Speaking of like butting heads, I love the scene where you are telling Marisol off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <That was laughs> you saw you on Telemundo. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the accent came real I have real to tell thin. you, yes, I, I, knew you I had to keep apologizing to beautiful Daniela Alonso. <laughs> 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 She's such a lovely girl. She is, yes. She's so beautiful. Because, you know, I just had to, I had to just tear into <laughs> her. And right. she was so, so like, oh, is that me? <laughs> and I was like, baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, okay, I have to be mean now. Because she was just so sweet. But, yeah, Kara is a, she's a pit bull. Yeah. She's yeah, a you have pit to bull. Be in that she industry. is a fierce, protective pit bull. Mm -hmm. Don't come into her arena and she, she ain't going to be ready. so nice. That's right. If you ain't ready. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Daniela was here two weeks ago with us. And we told her, when I saw her, I'm like, do people say that you look like you're related to Lisa? Because you guys look so much alike. Uh, it's yeah. crazy. I, well, listen, I ain't going to lie. When I first saw her, I was like, uh, are y'all trying to get the younger version of me? <laughs> Is somebody trying to tell me something? Like, what's going on over here? It was definitely an interesting uh, choice because she, I, I immediately saw her and I was like, Oh my God, we we could play <laughs> sisters. Right, right. It's just mm -hmm. kind of weird, but um, yeah, she's she was so lovely though. I just so much fun to work with, and you know, and there was some good stuff coming up soon. That yeah. She told us. Oh, did well, she? Well, she didn't you? tell us, but oh, she just okay. said it was good stuff yeah, yeah. coming up. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. her character. <laughs> All right, Hang so then Mary Jane gets away. She's back on air on Monday. Mm -hmm. The teleprompter goes out, and she does her entire segment like a boss. Yep. Yeah. From totally memory. She killed it. Yes. Total with, setup. With Greg setting her. Yes. One hundred percent. And I'm good. I'm glad I that she is sailed. Oh. oh, I thought it was a setup. 
I didn't entertain and, that and thought. And basically, she could have dropped the mic on her way out because she handled it like a true professional yes. that she is. Late, sassy, whatever you want to say, she knows her stuff. Well, that's what you yeah. do in a workplace She's setting. She's intelligent. Yes. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what you do in a workplace setting. Or I'd venture to say in any setting, when you get called to the carpet, you have to be held accountable. Right, right, that's right. And you may be put to the test as to whether you took, if I'm the person of authority, did you take my notes into consideration because, you know, this might, you know. Right. And so she really, I really like seeing her shine. I was telling the girls off camera in undergrad, I was that girl, like the ad lib improv girl. So my, <laughs> I was going to call my college advisor on speaker because I'm really good at doing that. But it's key to know your stuff. You That's why it's feet. so important to know your stuff right. prior to sitting in front of the camera. Right. Yes. Right. yes. What about um, when of course, it, she does really well. She's very prepared. She comes in early. And Kara comes back to tell her that the numbers are their last place. <laughs> but they're, they've maintained they're the numbers. They're always last place. And she seems a little not happy about it. Jaded. That what do you makes think? sense. That makes sense. She's working hard and mm-hmm. she's expecting the numbers to grow. But it's also something that, you know, one week into the job of you coming in early and preparing and taking <laughs> correct <laughs> notes and mm-hmm. you can't expect change overnight. Like, right. it's not going to happen because you did it for a week. Let's see you do it for two months, three mm-hmm. months, and then right. you'll slowly see that build. But I think that what Greg said to her was exactly the kind of fire she needed to get under her ass to really bring it when she came back on. Right, right, right. I also think, like, when you're an ambitious person, you kind of set goals for yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mary Jane is a winner, you know? And and Kara's a winner. Like, they work hard. They're all about getting to the top. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And so when you're you're not exactly where you want to be, aren't we a little, like... We, we forget to enjoy the moment of yes, where we are. Right, right, yes. Yes. You know? And I think there's a lot of that that happens. Yeah. You know? And, 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 but that's, again, that's that's what's great about their relationship is that Kara's like, oh, no, no, no. Look, look at where we are. Uh-huh. Be here. This is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is good. Like, in the back of Kara's mind, it's like, uh, you almost didn't have a job. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? So, so there is a lot of that that happens, I think, to us in the workplace because when we're ambitious and we, we have our goals of where we want to see ourselves it, we're harder on ourselves mm-hmm. I think yes yeah. and of course she enjoys it by sitting in her pool smoking that cigar I was happy can I be honest I what? was a little scared by that scene because Why? I know sometimes the show likes to end on like a you know I don't know if it's too much how to get away with murder too much shine <laughs> <laughs> but things are going too good you know her house has always bothered me because it has <laughs> no window treatments and it's just like just so open right. so I just kept mm-hmm. looking like is someone going to be behind her I thought Loretta Devine's character Here might you pop go. up you wow. thought Fifi was going to oh, come sudden, up like it turned into a suspenseful <laughs> it's thriller too much Sean you need to take Kara's advice just it's, enjoy it yeah. Just enjoy <laughs> the moment. Like, right. Was she doing like the whole cigar whiskey thing? That, because yeah. that's what that Cuddy Buddy Brandon yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's right. what I, thought. Which I, I, I was just was like, I wanted to be her in that moment. I was like, right. I wish it was warm enough in LA right now. You got to put my feet first. in the pool. <laughs> yeah, I got to get the pool. <laughs> then I got to get me some good whiskey. <laughs> right. Exactly. Good cigar. Yeah. I don't, how do you feel about her haircut? I love it. I love it. New. I think I prefer her long. My favorite hairstyle on her this season was actually Lisa's like funeral when it was like thirty six inches and had the highlight. <laughs> you go. Know, she can't just be natural and short. You, you know, know it, what? Can, it can be, but I just that was my favorite style on her. It was like obnoxiously long, like stripper I love long. <laughs> I love, short, like, I love the short. I love the short. I think it's just free when you chop short, your hair off. Cheeky it's look. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to say short sassy. and sassy. Way to use your adjective. <laughs> my you husband go. will not let me cut my hair. I'm, uh, I'm like, you know, I wonder how. And he's like, no. no. <laughs> I know. Shout out to Hus- Don't w- touch it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> All right. Then let's talk about going to this club. Mary Jane, you know, she wants to party a little bit. Mark is there. Mm, oh a lot my of gosh. steamy scenes going yeah, on Mark. there. Mm. Um, I like their relationship. I think they have a really good friendship. He's very honest with her. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love that about them. Um, he but it's al- just like every gay sidekick, so to speak. <laughs> I'm using air quotes. We're it's not- like every gay sidekick in scripted television or reality TV, whether it be right. Miss Lawrence to the Nene, or whether it be, I forgot, uh, Stanford to uh, Carrie Bradshaw. It's just always that, <laughs> right. you know. Jack to Karen. Right, to right. Karen. It's, it's right. always that type of relationship. He says something really telling, um, and it's about Cuddy Buddy Brandon. 
he says, you know, she she's kind of contemplating now dating her cutty buddy. I would be too. And I he, would too. But he says something really good. He says, let the one find you. Like, don't you right. see what this is with him? Let it just be that. Is Mark right about that? Or should she explore dating her cutty buddy? I, it's she should always, be open to it, but yes. not force it. Let me okay. tell you something. It's one thing to have a cutty buddy. Can we can we be honest in here? <laughs> yes, this is <laughs> no judgment zone. Look, no I'm gonna judgment. Ju- I'm gonna judge the del- the delicious wine that I'm sipping on for this uh, following <laughs> segment. But it's one thing to have a cutty buddy, but that's why you have to be very very careful when you have one because it's so so easy to get emotions involved and with him being there for her and such when she was just so vulnerable and sensitive that was such a raw moment when she got the invite you know when Lisa was supposed to speak on right, my birthday right. mm-hmm. um, <laughs> so <laughs> she was we talked about this so um, that I'm sure played a huge role into it because now it's more than sex and it's always going to be more than sex it's, it's one thing if you know it's just a hit it and you leave and mm-hmm. it's another if you if it's a hit it and you know you're warming up the leftover over spaghetti and you're staying and things like that like it adds emotional layers to it mm-hmm. right, so you have right, to right. be careful with that but I, I could see her entertaining dating him but I think they would be cute together I'd date him me too me Girl, too I, I, do think, a lot I don't of things think women with him. can go very long like just having sex with I don't think I mean, we're so. such no. emotional creatures no. but men yes. can, I don't think men can I feel like it's always someone because you know I know women that are just like Samantha Jones since we're keeping up with the uh, Sex in the City reference <laughs> Samantha from Sex in the City you know how she was just out there right, all while right. I know mm-hmm. women that are like that and men that'll catch feelings so I just think that it's kind of like but eventually Samantha's someone's going an exception to exception to the rule right, right, right. I think the, the rule majority is, of females yeah. are we're, it's very much yeah. emotionally yeah. based and the fact that now the cutie may want to, that's evolving into mm-hmm. something uh, could no. at least try it out no no I say no don't do it go on dinner <laughs> and say, don't I, say, do I it. say no no because here's the thing about Cuddy Buddy He's not really intellectually astute. And <gasps> Mary... No, no, let me tell you. Because, no, he, no, no, no. <laughs> because I'm not saying he's dumb. But what I'm saying is when it comes to Mary Jane, we've seen that she's very... I don't know. What is the word? She has these intellectual conversations with people. She, he's limited in that, and she knows that. Because mm-hmm. what's, what's his face from last season... Um. Oh yeah. Yes. Gar- uh, Gary. Oh yes, yeah. Gary Dordan. Yes. Shout out. Hi. Yeah. Gary. Hey, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like she was turned on by the conversations. Right. Like, she was, he was mentally stimulating her in a way. But it that, didn't work. But out. he didn't do it, it didn't for her. her. Yeah. It, it didn't right? work. Right. Sometimes out. it takes the the meaning of Cuddy Buddy to me. Mm-hmm. When I think about Mary Jane and Cuddy Buddy, it's so funny. It's like he is just the simplest idea of company, mm-hmm. of what it is to have somebody to just be with. Right. To be yeah. there. To okay. Be. So all that intellect and all that intelligence mm-hmm. and all that book knowledge, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But that's not what's going to get you through yep. that emotional, you know, that is true. ear, mm-hmm. that friendship, that... That connection, yeah. and I think that that is what's nice about Cuddy Buddy. That if she if she falls to the floor crying, he goes right down with her, and he just sit there and hold Those her. Big well, it's not like he knows what to say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, does he need to though? Does he need to no, though? No, no, he just I, needs to embrace me in those twenty-two inch arms. <laughs> Sometimes it's not about what you say, right? No, it's that about is what true. You do. But on the other hand, in Mary Jane's defense, as a girl that likes a good intellectual mind stimulating conversation, I can get irritated by that. There's only so long that I can oh, handle. Absolutely. Some brute ho- hovering over me, giving me hugs. <laughs> every time. You know what I'm saying? Why you gotta be a brute? brute. He's fine. Coming from the person that doesn't like to cuddle. I, I, <laughs> listen, I make no apologies about the girl that I am. I don't like cuddling. Okay, it gets hot. But um, <laughs> he, it, it, you know, there are certain there are perks that come with that. But I do enjoy conversation, and I get irritated. So I could see where she's coming from because there's only so much of that that you know you can take. Mm-hmm. We have yet to see. But I think they have yet to explore. Yes. What Cuddy what Buddy might be able yes. to teach her about? Yes, uh, you that know what? Is I, th- true. I think they're that gonna date. True. I think they're gonna date, I and I think do. it's not gonna work out. But I think that Cuddy Buddy is the type of guy that Mary Jane actually needs. She needs someone to just come home mm. and just relax her yes. in a soothing way because she is so on the go and you know we don't want her to have a meltdown like Kara did last week you know you want her to just have someone to come and get away from all that stuff from work 
She shouldn't right. be working 24 7. She needs someone to, to come oh. home and distract her from all the chaos. I still don't out there. like it. And I don't think it's and, work. and Hennessy or whatever it was that they were drinking. That's a, how long is that going to last? We're going to need some better. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no one sees my point of view. And, no, you, the if, point of that story was him sharing a personal memory which is sweet, with his grandfather. But after months. Because life six, is crazy. That's right. No one can stay and enjoy. You know what I'm saying? After months. Well, let us know what you guys think. Make sure you use the hashtag AB. TV BMJ. Go ahead and put the comments below because we love to hear what you guys think. Is Mary Jane gonna get with Cuddy Buddies? Are gonna work out? We don't know. Or the white boy. Or the white oh, boy. Let's talk yes. about that. So of course, we see that she feels like she let the ancestors down. She kissed. <laughs> She's making out with the That's white how I feel man. when I listen to Taylor Swift. Do you guys yeah. think that it's letting your ancestors down when you date outside of your I age? call it winning. <laughs> 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 let me tell you something. I don't want to step on any toes, but let me tell you something. Since I've been in LA, I haven't dated any black men. Really? But that hasn't been by choice. I just haven't. Well, it's I guess all you're these, winning, according it's all to these Tiana. You're high winning. Middle Easterners and things that be knocking on my you're door. Winning. Please I mean, define you're winning. the win. Okay, so especially when it comes to white people in the media, a lot of times all you see is spotlighted is black men with white women. Yes. Right. And you never see a lot of white men attracted to black women. Holly, well, so yeah. so yeah. when I do see that, I get excited and I get happy because I'm like, you know what? Everyone wants to get mad at the black man for going after the white girls and, you know, leaving us behind. But we can Quote, go unquote. outside our race too right, and find right. happiness and love and white boys are attracted to black girls contrary to like the media's perspe- perspective of that I feel like we've had this conversation yes, before I feel like I have <laughs> so you know what I say you're winning if you can get that you like. know what you have to watch out for though since we're having real conversation you have to watch out for those fetishy type guys oh but that's just anyone one, just, I mean yeah but I'm just, just saying when, you're you're when you cross when you cross the river Jordan so to speak <laughs> the river Jordan <laughs> there are certain things that you have to watch out for. Sure, like, you are too for, <laughs> for example, a lot of the times with brown and black bodies, there's hypersexualization, you right, know, because right. they want mm-hmm. that. You know, typically, you know, women of color, we got a little bit more, you know, we're a little bit curvier. So you have to watch out for hypersexualization. And you have to watch. It's just a lot that you have to watch out for when you are. You know, and do you want me for me or do you want me for? Well, I would say my white husband. <laughs> we have an opinion on You're that. Winning. You're winning. He's <laughs> like, I love it all. Right. <laughs> but see, that's different because that's your husband. Yeah, but when we were dating, off, right? Were you skeptical when we were, were you dating? Like, do you just you talk know what's to so funny? Women? No, you know what's so funny? Like my parents, honestly, they never raised me to like think okay. about just dating. Pick, yeah. Just right. pick this. It was all about like who I was going to love mm-hmm. and like and who was going to love and like me. Yes. It wasn't about the skin color. Right, wow. right, right. It never was. It wasn't, it was never about the Latino, the black, mm-hmm. the Jew, the Chinese, whatever. Right. Asian, whatever. It was about the person. And right. so I, w- I, that's how I was raised. Mm-hmm. And so in my mind, that's how I always saw my relationships. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, um, As a matter of fact, you know, we moved from the Bronx, where there were a lot of minority people, okay, then we moved to, like, this Italian Jewish neighborhood, and and it was like, I was like, oh, who are all these cute white boys? (laughs) Right. I'm like, it's a whole different world up in here. So it was like, yes, it was was just all the more merrier to just be like, oh, look at all the choices. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So I, you know, and I... I, I teach my children the same thing to not have limited thinking in, you in, in love. Right, right. You, you, should. Can't, yes. you can't have limited thinking in love. It's about the person and and who who's the right mm-hmm. pick for you? Mm-hmm. Who's the but right you fr- choice? But you right? frame it on your experiences. Is it because with me, yes. with these Middle Eastern guys, they're all fine and they all, you know, there's nice, you know, dates and gifts <laughs> and stuff. But, you know, it's like you can't bring me home to mom. So it's like oh. I got to watch how deep I fall into that because I feel like it's always a hang up. Well, we'll have to see what happens. You guys, we can talk off camera because this gonna, is layered. Do you think it's going to work out? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you. Do you guys think it's going to work out between this new. <laughs> This new uh, no cut white boys out. Brandon's in. Yeah, oh. I, think, I don't think white boys in. I don't think he, he had little think. moves. He had so some in the script, moves. his name is gorgeous guy. Ooh, is it really? Yes. In the script, yes. I love it. 
I love he him. was gorgeous. He was. He was on beat. Mm. I was not yeah, saying he was he on beat. He, he was rhythmic. That's about about how he got it in. Oh yes. Like were they having sex wait, in the club? Like, he got he got, he got sex to me. His name is James Taylor, by the way, the actor. Hi Love James Taylor. Taylor. We'd Hi, love James. to have you on and see you in person. Yeah. Yes, James. Is he, is he tall? <laughs> he is tall. Okay. Like how tall? And very very sweet. Very nice person. Like how tall? Roughly. I don't know. Something. Trying to get something. I'm asking for a friend. I think. <laughs> you guys, how, how, what were they doing? Yeah, let's, let's talk about the club simulation was, for a Is moment. that what he was doing? He was, I thought it, something was happening. I mean, she was like, I was confused. Uh, yes, he was. Yes, oh, he was I missed that. that. I was just like, oh, this is like mental stimulation? Like, what's going on here? No, when Mary Jane was like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, oh, I, that was very good. <laughs> Look, I didn't like, see any movement. No, you <laughs> missed. Yeah, how to use that? Did you miss twice. her whole fight? Uh, her, um, yeah. right? It was yeah. like, uh, so was it a sex did. club or not? It was no, not. It was a it club was, without any I mean, cameras in or any phones. You yeah. Like the Soho who, uh, House, kind of. Is it? Oh, I mean, is that that that, I mean, well, no, because there's cameras in the Soho House. This is no cameras, no paparazzi. Okay, but you Do know, you want. first of all, Mary Jane, that you've you've reached a new low. I'm judging. Ooh, I'm judging. I'm judging. I know. I feel like you can't. Girl, you know, you're out. A I'm kind of it. an old-fashioned girl. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So like, I kind of go doing the that traditional way. No. Yeah. At a club, yeah, yeah, at a no. nasty germy club on a leather couch. Are you kidding? By the okay, peanuts. In the daylight, yes, <laughs> oh, no. I would have that opinion. But at nighttime, after a few beverages, and I just got over my face being scarred, and I'm got my job back, it may or may not happen. We can do it in the car, like high school. But right. we're not doing like this out in the open. Episode, yeah, which was nice. amazing, by the way. Yes, <laughs> that steamy scene, that hand <laughs> on the window. <laughs> Vivica Fox loved that too. Right? Yes, she did. Yes, yes, she she did. did. Vivica was like, God. Ah! <laughs> Shout out to so them. She's been um, shaking the table. Lately. So you would rather go in your car than stay in. Like, if I had an option season. between Absolutely. a club, a public club, Absolutely. a public germy, sweaty, nasty club. Where people can yes. still have their phone no, like this, but here's taking the thing. pictures. Yes. Absolutely. If somebody was low-key mm-hmm. like stimulating a part of your body and you mm-hmm. were into it, you would be like, stop. Get off of me. Listen, if we're in public... <laughs> I don't care how many of these I've had, okay? No. Shar's not that kind of girl. Right, I'm not. Sure. But Fania is, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna let Finia go hang in, but like, I'm, Tiana's that girl. Finia, is your mama well, watching? I know, right? What kind of girl are you, Megan? I'm, oh, I'm not that girl, honey. No, no. Okay, well, no, across no. the table. No, no. Right. 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 Look at these two holding hands in the middle of the I'm room. Two freaks in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but I beg your pardon. This is a judgment-free zone. We I am, girl. I don't they, judge you all. I'm judging Mary Jane, Gabby's character. I'm judging y'all. Y'all freaks. Now I'm not gonna say nothing, but that is a story. In the middle of the club with hubby and I, but I'm not ah, gonna say nothing. Lisa's a freak too. It happened. A freak. I was with my hubby though. <laughs> That is different. That's different. That's not, that's different. not, different. That's that's not different. some random it man can, no. that you yes, met in the that club. Can, that can blackmail you. Yeah. It's different when you're with your husband. How do we know that this white guy isn't someone that CC sent? Oh, oh you're right. This you is too, you, so you're watching right. a There's thriller. So much. Too much Sean. All right, guys, we, we got to move on. Let us know what you guys think. <laughs> to make sure you use the hashtag. We want to hear all of your comments. Let's talk about Nisi. We finally yeah. get to see her mother, the beautiful Jill Scott, who plays Jackie. And we see why, I think we get a little more insight as to why Nisi is the way she is. Mm-hmm. Um, Jackie has been kind of in and out of her life. She doesn't really call her much. She doesn't call her back. I think that's the worst thing you can do as a mother. Yes. Mm-hmm. But you know it's odd because we never yeah, see actually, it from that. We don't see mothers yeah. do that. We typically mm-hmm. see fathers that do that. I will say this. I thought Nisi's mom was going to be a lot worse than she actually was. Because True. because we haven't seen her and you know it was kind of the breakdown was you know she comes back into Nisi's life and just enough to mess with Patrick a little bit and so I was like ooh she gonna come in she gonna be dirty and she gonna be this but I actually really liked Jackie right. and I thought she was I loved that she stood up for Patrick when they yes. were late for dinner and she was like no yeah Nisi what were you thinking why didn't you tell me you had to be back you should never be late so I I loved Jackie and I thought that it was great bringing her in mm-hmm. right 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 I, and I love how I guess I thought she was going to be more of oh yeah girl it's fine that you're late and mm-hmm. when she gave her that mm-hmm. comment like uh uh-uh, uh it's never okay to be late you should have told me what time we were supposed to be here right. yes. and you know she tells Patrick stop babying her you're not helping her I, I think she's actually a really good parent and I even have more respect for Patrick because this whole time we thought he was the bad father mm-hmm. and here he is raising mm-hmm. his girls trying to do better getting this job you know with the Selling sodas 
tea mm-hmm. and raspberry. I thought that it was great that with that, just to piggyback off of that with, uh, I want to say Jill, but Jackie reprimanding her because I wasn't expecting that either. As a as the parent who's never around, right. typically what we see, the narrative that we see in these mm-hmm. shows is that they're just kind of passive and kind of like like your friend type thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she showed up and she was full-blown mom. Right. Doing right. the stripper Nicki Minaj's hair. Miss Patterson showed out, by the way. <laughs> she did. Oh, you do a stripper's hair. <laughs> And that was nice. Right. So I'd hate to see what mean is. She always says something. <laughs> right. She's always saying something. It's like, oop. <laughs> it's like, we all what do you that think is going on with her, though? With Nisi? No, with uh, she's pa- angry. Miss Patterson. I'm talking she's about angry. all that confidence. What is Miss I think she's angry. At? Her illness. Yeah. She's oh, angry yeah. that she's ill. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, you know, sh- that she's kind of helpless in a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And right, she kind right. of... She, uh, what I love about it is that Mara's not afraid to show this woman who's angry about her illness and her life, and she takes it out on everybody. Right. And it's she common. She don't care. It's right. like, deal with it. Right, mm-hmm. right. It's common. Because that's the truth. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. You do She's out. not all, oh, I'm fine. No, honey, you. No. She's. I'm coughing and I'm pissed. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And I'm saying if, she, sure. if that was nice that she talked to Jackie, I was like, oh, what does her mean exactly? Like, what yeah. is that supposed to look like? Yes. And then, of course, um, Jackie says something really, really nice when she leaves. And she says that you're the architect of your own dreams. Just go out and build it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really good because I feel like we're going to see a turn for Nisi now. I feel like she's going to be different. And I feel like she's really going to be the person that we, we know to be there. Right. I yeah. think she's got some growing pains to go through. Okay. I think Me her too. lashing out is like she's allowed to be angry at her parents for however she was raised in her upbringing. That's why she's kind of flip and like talks back a little bit and right. was like, well, can't you just hook me up and well, why I'm going to go teenager. to bed? It's like, grow up. But mm-hmm. I, I'm I, sorry. She's going to have to, it's going to take time. She has kids, but it doesn't make you a grown up. But I think right. she's, She's going to have to learn how to communicate right. her anger and her frustration with her parents. Right, right. So I think we're going to see, probably, I hope she evolves an evolution with her, but it's going to take some time because she's still bratty right now. Yeah. How old is yeah. she? How old is her character? She's like, what, 20? I think probably. she's like 20. Because she's acting like 15, yeah. honestly, yeah. Right. with the whole bratty and I have and to the tell you, defiance. Have you guys met Raven Goodwin? Yes. yes. Amazing yeah. Raven Goodwin. She's she is the most amazing girl. She like, is, yeah. We are all in love with Raven. Yes. She's such a sweetheart. And... She's so she is an old soul, that girl. Like she's so <laughs> mature and right. so responsible mm-hmm. and so together mm-hmm. uh-huh. that she just does such an amazing job playing Nisi, who's like not really together. Right, right, right. You know? Nisi is yeah. irksome. Yeah. <laughs> she is. She, she or how you to say it's that worsome. She's so worsome. She <laughs> like a real <laughs> word. And a treat for you guys. She may or may not be coming in maybe three or four weeks. Mm-hmm. Oh, Perfect for the Good holiday. Yes. yes. <laughs> so where can uh, we find some other things going on with the network? Well, Kiana? make sure you guys check out our sister site, Black Hollywood Live. It is the first African-American entertainment news site, and there are 12 different shows. We have a law show, a uh, up-and-coming actor show. And That's the show I'm on. Yes, it's called Megan. Black Hollywood Live Next. Make sure you check it out. And Megan Jeez. is phenomenal on that oh, show, so and we you. have a hot topic show and a poli- po- politics show. Political, I can talk yeah, political. Fashion. fashion. We do it all over there at Black Hollywood Live, so make sure you check it out at www.blackhollywoodlive.com. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BHL online and make sure you guys check out all the things that we have to offer there. I'm the VP of the network, so that's why I keep saying we. Um, we got another yeah. HBIC yeah, in here. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you guys check that out. Um, is Jackie and Patrick going to get back together? Are they going to? First mm. of all, that scene. Are we doing yes. predictions? It reminded me of Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton in Monsters Why? Ball. Why? You know, when, when, when Halle was like, <laughs> No, listen. I know. She was like, <laughs> because you know when Halle was like, make me feel good. When he was like, I can make oh, you feel good stop, on the couch. You know the explicit scene. Yes, we know. You know the explicit scene. I wasn't even allowed to see that. Movie. But you weren't allowed Look, to. See. Have I you wish seen I it? hadn't seen it. Either. You've never seen it. You no. don't need to see it. Monsters yeah. Ball. Tiana, My mom didn't let me watch it. Don't okay. watch it. Don't watch it. I love that she's that young. <laughs> like, she's a grown. Okay, you need to move over right now. <laughs> you need to watch that movie. And well, don't listen. Why did you feel like that scene was a scene? Because I felt like they were, it was like that vulnerable state. It was like on the couch. No. And I felt like it was kind of like make me feel good. I mean, it wasn't as explicit. I kind of get that. I get it. 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 I get it
think we're on the it. same page. I, see? She's talking about the um, I, definitely the emotion that right. happened there. Yes, and some yeah. of the same lines. They kind yes. of mirror each other. I get it. I okay. get it. Okay. I give you that. Well, I don't know. I kind of <laughs> like them together, actually. I know. I, I, I did too, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I like I, how we find out that she's not Nicki Minaj's hairdresser. She's the dancer's Ooh. hairdresser. Who doesn't inflate some of their jobs just a little bit? I mean, I went to my high school reunion. I told people I was running things. I wasn't <laughs> 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 yeah, like, what are you she's like, you know, I'm running CNN, I'm but I can't watch Monster Ball. <laughs> 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 Girl, you need to watch And they're all like, why? Because my mother don't let me. Right. Right. My mom said no. My mom said no. Well, listen, if I were a mom, I'd tell you no, too. But now that you're an adult. Right. But you know how sometimes what your mama says just sticks in your head? And so I'm not allowed to watch that movie. Absolutely. I snuck and watched it all, waiting to excel. Stella got her groove back. (laughs) I wasn't allowed to watch. So, you know, my mom was always the turn your head type girl. Oh, yes, girl. I know about that. I like how the... it does represent that all that glitz is not glamour. No, it's not. You know, right? she yeah. does speak on like she's in hotels, she's traveling, she's gone from her family. Like, she feels like she messed the girls up. Yeah. 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 Well, I have a question too. Where's my Ema? <laughs> The sister that we never see that yes. was in the picture, she's like, oh, we messed our girls By up. By the way, funny, I know this has nothing to do with it, but when when, it, when he said that, like, the Naima thing, on your little caption, it said, did you get my email? I was like, oh, my God, that's all. <laughs> Like, uh, well, captioning he just was so said Naima. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I, that's a good question. Where is she? I think she, we saw her once. Refresh my memory. Entire, who the hell is she's Naima? She's the older daughter. Yeah, the she, old Nisi's oldest sister. I think she was Jackie on like a Pat- season finale at the dinner table, and that was it. No, no, I think she, no, no, no. I think she was on like what the very first episode or second. Did they like, we saw her one time this season. No, at the very so very you know beginning. what they might have done. They might have done like the co- the the classic ninety sitcom How they where did, like Family Matters family and they wrote out. She went upstairs uh, and never came back down. <laughs> you know how they used to write people out in the nineties. She got us that one girl on Family Matters who That's went upstairs. Daughter, yeah. It was their never. extra daughter. She went upstairs and never came back. One episode and never came back, and they never That's talked true. about That's her. Again. But no, but they're talking about Naima. Can we please bring Naima back? Because I feel like this is a phantom person that we're talking about. We need to see Naima. I'm telling you what might have happened. <laughs> All right, let's talk, let's talk about a little bit of news and gossip, you guys. Yes. TV news. Okay, um, so we love Mara Brockakill, who's the creator of Being Mary Jane. Shout out to her because her husband and her, Selima Kill, they have um, they've got a new multi year deal with Warner Brothers TV that some of you might already know about, but. In addition to that, she's going to transition from being the showrunner of Being Mary Jane to just being the executive consultant so that we can see some more of her other projects that she has going on. So you guys stay tuned because that's going to happen around May 2016. We're going to see a lot more projects cranking out from Akil Productions. We're so excited. Yay. Yay. Yeah, see this. This is They're amazing. a dynamic duo. They are. Yeah. They're so cute together. Yes, they are. We it's need so more of them in our weekly nightlife. I yes. know, right? right? On yes. Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. She'll take over like uh-huh. Shonda. Okay. Please. And yes. what I love about Mara is like that she, it's so kind of unexpected because she's this beautiful woman. Like yeah, she's I'm stunning. sure you guys have, like, My goodness. She's really stunning. And she's right. natural. And she's, Yes, <laughs> and she's just super bright and this great writer. Mm-hmm. And she's she just is. got yeah, so much writer. stuff to talk about. You right, know? right. Yeah. Which so, is kind of cool. Right, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Okay, we're going to do a little bit, a few predictions, but when we do, everyone give one prediction. It has to be different from your neighbors. <laughs> your neighbor. What if your neighbor stole you? Oh, damn it. Buzz Use your TV. creative juices and think of something else. Yeah. Who gonna That's stop me, boo? All right, let's start with Char Jocelyn. What did you say? You started with me last time? You know time? what? Okay. Predictions for, like, next episode? It doesn't matter. Next okay. episode of the season, one thing. <sighs> I love that. I feel... You <laughs> can't do that. No, because, you know, I'm on the spot, and I've been drinking. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> a little bit in. I think, in particular, next episode, that uh, we're going to get more of... The white guy from the club. Mm-hmm. He's gorgeous, have, guy. gorgeous guy. Gorgeous guy. Okay, let me be PC. Gorgeous guy. And I also feel like um, Marisol. Danielle one. Lama. You I can only do one. Oh, I can only do Ooh. one. Yeah. Oh, so one. we're going to get more of Gorgeous Guy. Okay. Next, in particular, next episode. I don't know about the rest of the season, but next episode, we're, they're going to expand on his character. Okay. Tiante. I think that Mama Patterson's um, sickness is going to come 
sort of forward more and people are going to start noticing because you saw her telling Nisi like don't you tell nobody mm -hmm. um, so I think that you know people are going to start noticing and maybe we something might happen yeah. there I don't want her I'm not putting no death on her or nothing like that but like food. one yes. death a season <laughs> you know with Big Mama no I don't I want can't. no Big Mama happening here because <laughs> you know Big Mama was stubborn too <laughs> alright for Nia <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go the easy route. Patrick and Jackie are gonna probably rekindle something. She's gonna be a permanent fixture, and I think maybe there may be something with the drug situation that she may or may not have also dabbled in drugs. Ooh, wait, who dabbled in drugs? Jackie, Jackie honey. Oh, Ooh, Jackie. that makes sense. Um, my predictions about Mark, because we've seen this before. He is. He said he was being a hoe. So somebody brought their camera in this little hoe club that he's been in, Ooh. and they've taken some pictures, and he says he likes yep. to be top. So we're going to see him. Girl! <laughs> that was graphic, by the way. Which I was like, oh, he, he, he favored at that tweet. He favored at that tweet. Which, which question? I, um, does anal hurt? Ooh. Oh. But well, he wouldn't know so the he, answer, because he said he's I'm top. saying ab amongst us. Oh. But I'm just saying we never. Well, since we that. have the two freaks here, guess I answer yeah. that. You mean leave? Oh, yeah, the lot one off the record. Yeah. There are I'm some things. Things. favorite. Is, I tweeted and I was like, I can't handle this un, you know, inhibited conversation about anal sex BET right now, and he favored my tweet. Okay. But I did it like as a funny, you know. I, I don't mind, you know. I mean, were you not shocked when you heard it? I was like, okay. Oh, they taking it there, I'm being mayor to I'm not right. I appreciate it. I have many a gay friends, but I've never asked them. So I have. That, so Maybe you I need was, to. I was a little like. Ooh. You know what? I don't want to know. Yeah, I, like, I don't need to know what you do in the bedroom. That's like what you don't you need do. to know what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Lisa, go ahead and give us a prediction. It could be completely wrong. It could be right. Uh, but I know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, so that's even more the reason to give us a prediction. It could be completely wrong. Just anything you want to say about the entire season, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm going to predict that um, Kara finally falls in love. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought she did already. She did it with Kaya. Yeah, no, oh yeah, we did. I think that was love. Yeah. That was more it was lust. It was lust. No, it wasn't lust. It wasn't lust. She was wasn't, laid up. I think he was a stress relief for her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and it maybe um, could have gone further than that, but she had to end things. So you know what? Oh, I know what it is. Ooh, ooh. slamming. Kara's gonna fall in love with John again. Oh, oh yeah, oh, we did talk about that last week. I know. At least it rolled on. While we're talking about this, just really quickly, what were those pills yes. Kara was shoving down her throat that last was, week? Was it Vicodin? No, they Zanix? were. Um, no, yeah. Xanax. Xanax. Okay. Okay, because okay, like we were taking beds. Calm her down. I thought it was like Adderall. But or something. It's, <laughs> but you know when you do that, then it mm -hmm. kind of like. Counteracts. Oh, right? okay. It stresses it's you out every even Every time more we looked up, she was more and all of that. Yeah. Okay. okay, Lisa got a pill popping problem. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. No, not Lisa. Not Lisa. <laughs> Kara. Oh, Kara. Sorry. Kara. 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 We have some more for you. Okay, Lisa, before we get out of here, yes. I know you're such a busy and amazing actress. You're going to be on a few different shows. Tell us about your upcoming projects. So I, I'm also doing a recurring role on Rosewood. Yay! 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 I'm so excited. Well, I'm not, you know, while we're, we're off kind of, you know, Mar Mary Jane, um, I've been fortunate enough to have a little something to do on Rosewood, and I'm having a blast. I'm Yay! Um, Janae, Janae Ortiz's um, mom okay. on it. And um, it's just been a blast. It's, like, so much fun. I mean, she's just, like... She's uh, this character, her name is Daisy Villa, um, and she's over the top. She's sort of, she was a young mom, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and she's kind of reliving her youth, so she wants to be out in the clubs with her daughter, <laughs> meeting younger men. So <laughs> Chris Jenner. And she just, hello, she just kind of <laughs> says what she feels. Right. It does not matter. She's completely inappropriate. She's a little bit of a drinker. Okay. Um, she's just kind of this outrageous character. And I'm just having way too much fun playing this <laughs> yeah, character. Because, you know, Kara is just so like, mm, right. and, uh, and this. And this woman is just like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know? She's just crazy. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. And um, my first episode airs on November 18th. Yeah, oh, it's right around the corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we have to That's watch That's next this. week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that it? Is? 
Is it? Yes, no, it's, it's like next. 10 days from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you're next right. week because no, the you're 16th right. is Monday. Oh, yes. That's right. You're right. Oh, I have something to do with it. That's right. the only reason why I know. <laughs> right. Not yes, you're absolutely yes. right. We're so excited to see anything and Jane else. Jane Ortiz is so amazing. And I have a film that's right now in the film festival circuit called Victor. It's an amazing film, beautiful film based on a true story about a man named Victor Torres. Uh, takes place in the late 50s, early 60s. Okay. And it's about the when the you know a lot of the Puerto Rican uh, families mm -hmm. came into New York um, mm -hmm. during that time and it, it kind of were, were put in these, you know, kind of slum neighborhoods, you know. Mm -hmm. This was in Brooklyn. And a heroin came into those neighborhoods and destroyed mm -hmm. a lot of people's mm -hmm. lives. And uh, he it's about his life story, his true life story. He becomes a vicious gang member, a terrible drug addict, overdoses several times, and, um, and how his life is saved. And it's just this gorgeous, beautiful well-told story and I play his mom mm -hmm. and uh, it starts when he's about 15 years old and um, and how she just never gave up on her son mm. and I love how it. she was such a big part of saving his life and that nice. motherly love mm -hmm. and um, I just uh, I, I watched it for the first time actually at the Heartland Film Festival and I just was like oh, it, you know it mm -hmm. really yeah. impacted me even more than I thought so That's nice. that'll be out soon. Yay! Yay. Okay, wait, can't wait to see both of those. Sounds like you got to grab your tissues for right, that. Right, oh. absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, and where can your fans find you online? Okay, online on uh, Twitter, I am the Lisa Vidal at the Lisa Vidal, and on Instagram, I am at the real Lisa Vidal because yes believe it or not there are a lot of Lisa Vidal so for some reason I think I'm the real one <laughs> and then I'm Lisa Vidal on Facebook I have uh -huh. a really great Facebook following and I love every once in a while just kind of connecting with my fans I love my fans mm -hmm. I love to connect with the fans I like to answer them I know it's time consuming but you know just a little smile or a kiss or a blow yeah. or a hello yeah. they appreciate yeah. it and I, I I'm very thankful for them watching Yay! Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us yes. today. Thank you, you guys. Fun. You guys are always fun. You give us life on being Mary Jane, uh, honey. Give it to you. us. Where can we find you, ladies? Starting with me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. <laughs> Again, SharSaysSo.com. SharSaysSo on everything. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat, all that good stuff. SharSaysSo. Okay. And I'm at the Tiana Hobson on Twitter and Instagram. And on Snapchat, I'm Tiana underscore Hobson. Ooh. Well, I'm mm -hmm. Finia Thomas on Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, and now Snapchat. And you can find me, Megan Thomas, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope at MegScoop, like scoop of ice cream. Yes. We love you guys. Make sure you use the hashtag always, ABTVBMJ. Keep the conversation going all week long. We'll talk to you on our YouTube page. Just click below. Make sure you subscribe to After Buzz TV. You can also find us on iTunes and SoundCloud. We love you guys. Until next week, see y'all later. Bye, Bye guys. Hasta luego. <laughs> Say bye to Snapchat. From bye executive producer Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.